On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, we're covering an SI we haven't covered before and comparing them to two pretty big names in the industry. All that and more in this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly. And uh, we're actually gonna be covering a system integrator today we have not yet before. And there's an interesting story as to how that came about, something that's happened before, but different circumstances. In any case, we're gonna be doing that and comparing them to two of the SIs we've covered plenty of times before. So this new one that we're covering, new to us anyway, is Apex Gaming PCs. And the ones I'm going to compare them to are going to be Skytech and iBuyPower, two that I've covered plenty of times here. And we're just gonna see sort of how they line up. We're gonna, we're gonna go over that, but also we're gonna go over something that's pretty important. And that's gonna be how I avoid selling out, losing my neutrality, and how you will always know that when it comes to my content, you guys come first. Consumer first, that will always be my priority. We're gonna go over that, so stick around and uh, let's chat about it. After I tell you that this episode of SI Weekly is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you wanna get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system. It cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you, CDK deals. For continuing to support the channel. Okay, before we get into any of the other stuff, quick disclaimers, and this keeps coming up, please pay attention to these. So uh, this episode is being filmed for May 22nd, 2023. All of the pricing and availability that you see in this video can very likely have changed if you're watching this a week later, a month later, a year later. Why are you watching this a year later? Look at the date. Watch my latest one. Next one is that you're going to hear my opinions on things. And these opinions are based in many years in the IT industry and many more years as a PC building enthusiast, PC gaming enthusiast. Uh, that's since I was six years old. All right. It's, it's, it's been my life. So um, that's where that's coming from. I'm way into this. And if you're new to this, just know that I'm not guessing on a lot of this stuff, but there are some things that are going to be uh, affected by my opinions. And that's fine. If you disagree, I'm cool with that. In fact, I encourage that. And you can do so politely in the comments below or on the Discord, which is linked in the description below. Please do. Last one is that when you buy a gaming PC from a system integrator, or um, even when you buy anything, you're buying it at your own risk. When I'm showing you these things, I'm giving my opinions and some actual information that is backed up through various sources. So, but that's not for me to tell you what to buy. This is so that you can take that, assimilate it, and make an informed decision for yourself. Uh, and even then, even after all of that, our lovely shipping industry uh, might just decide to, you know, trying to make a field goal with your beloved PC. So uh, if that something like that happens, it breaks in shipping, things like that do happen. And I have seen people turn around and say, well, Brayathorn said that they were good and then it broke in shipping. Why, well, that's not up to the system integrator. Unless they pack it terribly, which is something that we check out whenever I do something like a live uh, unboxing and testing kind of thing, which stay tuned because I got news on that. But anyway, um, yeah, you're buying at your own risk, of course, and this is not financial advice. It's just us chatting about SIs so you can get more familiar with that industry if you're looking to buy a pre-built, because that kind of familiarity will make you much more comfortable spending all of your hard-earned dollars on a fancy schmancy gaming PC. Let's talk about how I maintain neutrality, trying to keep things to where I can talk about any SI, and it is, all of them are fair game for constructive criticism, or praise if they do something right. I will not accept a sponsorship for an episode of SI Weekly from a system integrator. That that should make a lot of sense because, uh, well, first off, most SIs don't want to sponsor this show because I talk about their com competition along with them. 
So I talk about both, you know, them and their competitors. So, you know, it's not really, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for them to pay for me to do that. So when you hear me say this episode is sponsored by blank, that's who it's actually sponsored by. If I talk a lot about a certain SI, that's because I either recommend them thoroughly because of feedback I've gotten from the community in the Discord, which is pretty big, and there's a lot of people who have bought pre-builds and reported back on their experiences. That's direct first-party reporting to me. That's super helpful, and it informs my recommendations. The other thing is there are certain system integrators who just communicate with me more. I understand them better, and that's going to mean that I know more of what's going on and I have more to report to you, so you'll hear more about them. That doesn't mean I'm sponsored by them, or else I would disclose that at the beginning of the episode. Now, I do reviews, and oftentimes, the system is, usually, usually the system is sent on a loan basis, and I get to use that for a little bit to test it out, you know, check it out, get my numbers, get my information, and then uh, give you guys content and information on that system integrator. Sometimes I get to keep the PC and I do various things with it. I've done giveaways. Um, I've upgraded my editor's PC twice from that. Cuddles, you can vouch. You know, it just things like that. Um, also, I just also some, will just have that hardware for testing later on if I need to do some benchmarks, things like that. So, but that, for those of you who have watched my previous reviews where I've stated, yes, I get to keep this PC, that never stopped me from completely just trouncing on that SI if they messed up on something important. I don't know if you'll catch it, but that's just like, it's just like off right here. Like they didn't quite screw it in right. Oh man, it's pulling on the case. What happened here, guys? What's going on? That's how that works, okay? If they're not sponsoring something, they're just providing a product, they don't get to see the content before it goes up. They don't get to say what happens in the video or my mess, my, my any, any, any particular um, points that I need this. It's just, that's not how that works. So, I don't talk about that all the time, so not everybody knows that. So I have, have once or twice had an SI approach me about sponsoring some content. And that's not really something I would go for, for the reasons I just stated. So, uh, this company, Apex Gaming PCs, they, uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to sponsor an integration with you. And um, I responded, you know, no thank you, and here's why. That reviews are fine, uh, collaborations are fine. That can be fun, actually, and great for the community and great for consumers, because when I do a collaboration, I tend to get pretty much like, hey, it needs to be like this, I, mean, I wanna do things like this, if they're gonna do a certain system or something like that. I, I, you know, I try to make it the best for you guys that I can. And also, as you know, Operation Code Braithorn totally fine. If you decided that you wanted to go with that company, then there's an affiliate thing. I have a coupon code. So you get a discount and you support the channel at the same time. It's worked really well. People in the community have been, I've been really, I've been transparent about this for a long time, calling it Operation Code Brayathorn. Heck, my code at Alexander PCs is OCB for Operation Code Brayathorn right now. The more you can be certain there's not favoritism here, the more coupon codes we add to the list. Like I cover I buy power all the time. I don't have a coupon code with them. I just have seen a lot of people come back and say, hey, my thing with I buy power was awesome. Hey, I had this problem, they fixed it. That kind of thing is what, you know, we've talk, I've talked with, with them at I buy power about having one, but that's a huge company. It's a little hard to get something where it's like, they have like a code with Ronda Rousey. I ain't Ronda Rousey, all right? I want you guys to know that right now I'm giving Cuddles a very difficult job of trying to edit some, edit this into making some sense because I hate talking about money. I hate it. I do not like talking about money. I don't like asking for money whenever it's like, what's your fee for this? I'm like, I don't know. Because you guys have been enthusiastic about it and you've used the coupon codes and helped, you know, saved you money and you supported the channel, we're here, we're doing this and I'm, you know, building something out of it. So thank you. Now, there is one way in which I'm going to change my tune and it does not have to do with SI Weekly, okay? It has to do with travel. Um, I recently did something I had never done before and I, uh, I, you know, I was offered a, to be sponsored by Intel 
to go to PAX East. But that experience, it changed everything for me because I wasn't like desperate to get as much content as possible and like trying to get that because I spent a ton going to events last year. However, when it comes to attending an event, here's what that would entail. And here's why I'm changing my tune on that, okay? Because with Intel, Intel, all they wanted me to do was go up on their stage and talk about pre-builds. Cool, I was gonna do that. I would have done that for free. Don't tell Intel that. And the other thing, is that they said, hey, make a video about your experience at PAX. And I was like, okay, yeah, it was amazing. Here's the thing, guys, if you're worried about conflict of interest, keep in mind, whenever you watch channels like Paul's Hardware, you see Paul went to CES and said, I wanna thank my sponsors, you know, Asus and blah, da, 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 these companies that make hardware, he covers hardware. Greg Salazar did it. Uh, you had, I mean, that's the thing is a lot of the, uh, every, most other big content creators will not go anywhere unless it is a sponsored thing. You would think there'd be a conflict of interest because they cover that hardware. However, they still will report when there's a problem. They still will, but, but when they're there, when they're at the event, the reason they get sponsored to go is to go and say, look at this thing. They did this, it has these features. Thank you for sponsoring me to come out here. I can do that as long as I make sure that you understand, that you guys understand when it happens, when it gets published or whatever, that this is sponsored content, that's product features, that's this. It's not reviewing. That's completely separate and money should never change hands for a review. That's not a review, that's a product feature, okay? Anyway, so what we're gonna do and what I told Apex Gaming PCs, because remember this was all starting from them asking if uh, I would accept a sponsorship for some integrated content, which again, by the way, is, is a legitimate email to send a content creator. No shade on them for that, okay? It's just that I focus on SIs and nobody else really does. So I'm probably the only content creator that wouldn't work for, work with. We're gonna take a look at Apex Gaming PCs and I have deliberately sequestered myself from taking a look before because I like to get a first impression uh, when I when with you guys as I do this. I'll tell you more about that later. Let's take a look at Apex Gaming PCs. Okay, uh, see this is cool. Having someone's face on the front of the website. I like that, that's cool. Okay, this I don't like. Now you guys have heard me complain about this all the time. Well, whenever I see it, okay? This, I'm gonna go check out this website. And then just like, stop browsing. Give me your email. I want your personal info. I know it's a marketing best practice, okay? It's still skeezy. But yeah, this is a nice looking website. Like just, just based on what I'm seeing here, meet some of our partners. So you're putting your, uh, some of your content creators, streamers on the front page there, very cool. So let's look at what we're presented with here, okay? This is what we gotta do. So first option, gaming PCs. I'm guessing we can just go right to that. Um, Lux builds, interesting. Laptops, okay. Uh, RTS PCs means ready to ship PCs. 50% PCs, uh, where you get half of a computer. So I guess, what is it? It's 50% off, I guess. Is that what that is? 50% off builds refurbished by Apex. Same warranty, same service, Epic PC. No kidding. I'm worried now that something with a Ryzen 5 2600 and an RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM previously cost $2,500. That makes no sense. When I responded to Apex, I said that, this is not word for word, but um, that, uh, you know, I wouldn't do a sponsored thing. I'm open to the other stuff, you know, the, you know re a review, a system review or whatever. But what I will do is take a look at their site, see their offerings and give my opinion on that. And I don't hold back. I'm not here to make friends. I, I like it when that happens. That's cool, but that's not my job. Like I like making friends. Uh, where it doesn't affect my consumer first approach to content. And a t Ryzen 5 2600 and an RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM should never come near $2,584.
I'm getting overkill PCs flashbacks just looking at that. A Ryzen 3 1200 and an RX 580 with eight gigs of RAM. I'm guessing a single stick. Is that the picture here? Is that what we're seeing? Because it looks like it says EVGA GeForce right there. If you have a specific computer, a refurbished PC, it is paramount that the customer sees it before they spend a penny. You have a little corner set up with one of those so, so, sort of boxes things, you know, the fo photo photography, portable photography thing. Chuck it in there, take a picture because a customer deserves to see it before they pay a dollar to you, okay? Okay, product appearance will vary based on selected options. Um, customize this PC. Wait, it's, yeah, okay, okay, cool. All right, no options there. Stock cooler, okay. So not the Corsair cooler you have pictured. And there's no option to put a Corsair cooler, so that sentence does not apply. An A320M, entry-level motherboard, eight gigs of RAM, non-RGB. Is there uh, the option to get that those four sticks, those exact four sticks of Trident Z Neo? Because if you're gonna say that it can look like that, depending on the options you select, that option's gotta be here. It's not. That sentence is null and void. You understand. You get what I'm getting at, right? So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, just based on all the things I went over, I'm only halfway through the options there, okay? Your refurbished program is garbage and you need to completely redo it. It needs to be with a focus on what you would want to see on something you're buying, okay? It needs to be like, all right, I'm gonna buy something. I'll just, I wouldn't buy it sight unseen. I want some pictures. I wanna see the condition of this. How good are they at refurbishing things? I need to see that it is in good enough shape for the money they're asking, okay? And you can't just put any price on something and then divide it in half and say it's 50% off. Because this is a really stupid list of specs for $2,500, okay? Even when they were brand spanking new. So, this right here, it, it's just, where's where's the recycle bin? Eh, okay. That's where that is. Okay, now let's look. This right here, custom Apex gaming PCs, hand built to order. Save 11% for a limited time with code FLASH11. 11% is a significant discount. And I'm guessing that's above the discount that's already here. I'm a little worried to find out what you decided was worth $1197.95 and then down to $692.95 plus an additional 11% off. I guess we gotta look. Well, there's, it starts with a write-up and I do like when I see that, when it's, you know, it's like, hey, this is why we built it this way, this is the features that it has, yada yada. The Apex Bronze is not just a PC, it is your portal, wow. You know, laying it on kind of thick. But I appreciate the creative flair. What I don't appreciate is, again, starting your customers off at eight gigs of RAM so that you can show this price. It's enticing, but anyone who goes in and just clicks add to cart is not gonna be happy. Let's see if that's possible. Hang on. Let's see all this. This is nice because guess what? This is what I would have liked to see. A list of specs. Uh, so 5600G, Ryzen 5, 5600G, okay? Now that has integrated graphics. <laughs> I just thought about why this is even worse. When you have integrated graphics, because look, this has no GPU. It's using the RX Vega integrated graphics that came with the 5600G. You know what that relies on? Completely? System memory. And you've got eight gigs, baby, to do everything with, to run your whole system and your graphics. This is one of the worst spec PCs I have. And look, guys, that's because, go watch, go back and watch my video from last week where I talked about Magic Micro. They had horribly spec PCs. This is worse because this basically bottlenecked itself, went back around into like a Mobius move and then double bottlenecked itself into infinity. And it comes with a 240 gig SATA, SATA SSD. So SATA, not M.2. So when you see a price that seems too good to be true, guess what? 
it is. Systems like this are ones that get posted up everywhere to bring people in, okay? I understand y'all build better PCs, okay? Uh, okay, so let's move on. And let's take a look at the alpha. Let's take it the Apex Alpha. Wow, that's two power words right there if I ever saw them. Look at this, starting with 16 gigs of RAM. Wait, is this a, this is 1428 with a 12400F and a GTX 1650. Okay, why does it say GTX 1650, then it says a 1660 Super? See, this would make it a way better PC for gaming. Oh man, 60 bucks, solid upgrade. Okay, CPU, 12400F. Now the 12400F is great. It is a great gaming CPU, okay? And uh, if, if gaming is your focus, that's a great way to go for $1,500. Hmm, it'd stop you right there. One terabyte, team group, M.2, $44. So, to clarify, I want to make you understand, make sure you guys understand. I know SIs need to make money on, and that some of that is parts markup. Not 100% part markup though. <sighs> okay, let's, let's back up. Cause we're looking at a $1,600 PC with a 12400F and a uh, 16 gigs of RAM and an RX 6600 XT. I wasn't even gonna bring this up. I wasn't even gonna talk about Alexander PCs in this one. But I kind of have to. Now, granted, this is a 12100, 12100 F, but 16 gigs of RAM and an RX 6600 for 938 bucks with a lifetime warranty. And I should also mention that they recently launched this, the Peltast, okay? This is what I was actually getting at, okay? Listen up, 1548, shipping included, with a one terabyte M.2 drive, a 3060 Ti, okay, third party cooler, tower cooler, Vetro V5, Intel Core i5 13500, 13500, 32 gigs, Kingston Fury Beast, RGB, DDR5, 5600, 650 watt, 80 plus gold rated, fully modular power supply, and the XPG Starker Air Black. Really cool looking case I hadn't really really looked at before, including adding in four 120 millimeter PWM ARGB fans, sleeved cable extensions in colors of your choice when you buy, and you could even take the parts list over to, they have the PC part picker list right there, not showing the extras, including like the lifetime warranty, the sleeve cables, and go see what it would cost if you built it yourself. 1548 for a vastly superior system in every single conceivable way. I, I didn't start this out looking to like just flat out criticize you guys. I generally try to be positive. I try to approach things in a positive light in a constructive way, but there were some pretty big red flags here and I just, I don't know what to say. I, I know what to say, but like, I'm, tr I'm trying not to be as ranty as I can, as, as I can sometimes be, but like there are some, there are some big problems here. You guys, if you're ever wondering, why does he keep talking about these specific companies? Okay, look, go to SkyTech here, okay? And just tell them, all right, look, uh, my budget is gonna be uh, about that, okay? About 1600 bucks is maximum, okay? Let's actually bring that up to sort of get close to the to, to the, the, the alpha, the apex alpha. What did that come out to? It, uh, it was like, it was like 1600, 1600 bucks. Let's go back to this. Okay, we're around uh, $1,600. What can you get from Skytech? Uh, 13600K and the Intel Arc A770. Excellent GPU, it turns out, after some updates they did. Ryzen 5 7600X and a 3060 Ti. Okay, 5600X and a 4070, 7700X and a 3060 Ti. That's a nice one right there for $1499. With DDR5, of course, because it's Ryzen 7000 series. 13700F, 3060 Ti, 1499. High airflow case, liquid cooling. Uh, now, yeah, 
yeah, B660 motherboard makes sense for a non-K SKU on the 13700F. 13600K on a B660, it's okay. Even though you can't overclock, you still get the benefit of the extra cores. And it's $1499 with a 13600K and Intel Arc A770. This is a system I have reviewed in the past and it's $1099 right now, $1100 for a, an Intel Core i5-12600K, 240 millimeter AIO cooler. So it's actually better than the one I reviewed because that one had an air cooler an RTX 3060 Ti, a one terabyte M.2 drive, 1099, plus free shipping, okay? Now, you know I'm not necessarily the type to be like, oh, it's all about price to performance, get the cheapest thing you can. I reviewed this thing and it was awesome. With a lower end cooling solution. I can only imagine it's better with this. Now let's talk about I buy power the largest SI in North America, right? So for around $1,400, you can get yourself a 13600 KF and a 3060 Ti with 16 gigs of DDR4, a one terabyte M.2 drive, and a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. Uh, going up a little bit, Ryzen 5 7600, B650, RTX 3070, 1549. 32 gigs DDR5, absolutely. One terabyte M.2, sure. Tower cooler for 7600, that'll do. It does a trick. Better prices overall, 1749, 13700KF, and a 3070. I mean, you can keep going up. 5800X3D is gonna, I mean, it's gonna beat all the previous ones we talked about in, in gaming, surprisingly enough. Uh, depending on the game, when it comes to like 13th gen Intel, still a massive performer, whatever. You guys get what I'm getting at here, okay? I don't know, guys. I, look, I, I certainly wasn't out to to like nail anyone to the wall here, but I didn't see anything I liked at Apex. That bothers me because I I, I like I I like finding other SIs that I hadn't really looked into before and being like, oh, this is cool. They're doing this unique thing. The unique thing that's going on here, none of the unique things they're doing there are, are good. None of them are are. are something I could recommend. Is there a build fee like the uh, for quality of build? Did you guys do the Extreme PC Canada thing? I don't think you did, but let's go to let's find out. That's fine, because I told them in that video, no one does this but you. Maybe I'm wrong. Services, let's see. Uh, rush build. All right, under, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Oh my God, are you serious? So I, I want to point something out here. If you want to sum up what I don't like about what you guys are doing, it's the bait and switch. Okay, because right here, I mean, this is right after you click on a PC, ships in 48 hours. I even complimented that earlier. All right, customize this PC, services, rush build. That costs $149. PC ships within 48 hours. But no, it doesn't, because it already said ships in 48 hours. That's it. It doesn't say optional. It doesn't say optionally ships in 48 hours. Ships in 48 hours if you give us more money. We don't even know what the standard build processing time is, but a rush build is within two weeks? Nothing's saying that that's an option. Oh, 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 but hold on. Unless, because it's in this picture, that's part of the product appearance, which will vary based on selected options. Say that, just try saying that. Just, just, I, I, I dare you, say that that's why. If that's the case, I sure hope you're shipping a little sign like that with every one of these PCs so that they can post it up three inches above their PC because it's part of the appearance. Trying to add to the list, guys, of, of SIs that I can recommend, but right now, as things are, I, I cannot, there's no way. There's no way, there's too many red flags. This is already a toxic relationship. I can say this, it is now week three, and Magic Micro is still selling gaming PCs with the H610M motherboard. So now it is week one, of waiting until Apex stops lying about their shipping 
selling PCs for gaming that they don't recommend for gamers. And well, there's a whole list there. And if you actually care, you can go back and watch it again. I'm not out to hurt any companies, but some companies are out to hurt consumers. And I don't like that. If you did not intend to lie to your consumers, to your customers, great. Start off by rectifying those issues. And if you intended to sell good gaming PCs, you should probably start doing that. And uh, with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. And um, yeah, that'll be the episode for this week. I hope to get back to you guys with some good news about Apex. I really do. I, I mean, I, I, I want more competition in this industry. It flourishes with competition, with good competition. And I honestly want to see better um, for you and from you, Apex. I'm serious. I'm not even... I don't care about clicks, I don't care about views, I care about helping consumers. And I also have become, begun to really care about helping SIs. And I've been able to consult, I've officially cons well not officially, it's unofficially, but I've consulted several SIs on their sites, on making them better for consumers, which makes it better for them. You want me to do that? I'll do it. I swear, I promise, I'll, straight up. That'll be it for this episode. I will see you guys in a week for not another episode of SI Weekly as you know it, but for SI Weekly Live. That's right, uh, Cuddles is gonna be uh, unavailable for editing uh, next weekend. So Monday, next Monday, uh, for better or for worse, whatever I need to do to get everything finally finalized in here, uh, we're gonna be live. We're gonna be doing a live uh, unboxing and testing of a PC, we'll do a live Q&A, we'll do all kinds of stuff. Uh, and that should be at I'll say 7 p.m. Central, that might change. Please keep an eye on my Twitter, at Brayothorn, uh, for any potential changes there. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I haven't streamed in so long. And it's gonna be right here on YouTube, not on Twitch, because we do need to have a video out on that Monday, and this will be that video because they keep it as a video. So anyway, that'll be it for this week. I'll see you guys during the stream next Monday. Um, and uh, tell your friends, especially the ones who need a PC. All right. Take care.